Hello and welcome to This Date in History, a.k.a. TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day. The music in the background is A New Light by Valkos, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds, aka NCS. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Now let's get on with the show, shall we? Today is Sunday, aka Sunday, November 6, 2016. In 2012, Tammy Baldwin became the first openly homosexual politician to be elected to the United States Senate. In 1986, the Sumbra disaster occurred, in which a British international helicopter Boeing 234LR Chinook crashed 2.5 miles east of Sumbra Airport, causing the deaths of 45 people, becoming the deadliest civilian helicopter crash on record. In 1985, in Colombia, leftist guerrillas of the 19th of April movement seized control of the Palace of Justice in Bogota, eventually murdering 115 people, 11 of which were Supreme Court justices. In 1971, the United States Atomic Energy Commission tested the largest U.S. underground hydrogen bomb, codenamed Kanakin, on Amchitka Island in the Aleutians. In 1965, Cuba and the U.S. formally agreed to begin an airlift for Cubans who wished to go to the United States. By 1971, 250,000 Cubans had made use of this program. Oops. In 1948, Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Eastern China Field Army General Su Yu launched a massive offensive towards Zuzhou which was defended by seven different armies under the General Suppression Headquarters of Zuzhou Garrison thus initiating the Hawaii He campaign, which became the largest of such an operation of the Chinese Civil War. In 1947, Meet the Press made its television debut. In 1944, plutonium was first produced at the Hanford Atomic Facility and subsequently used in the Fat Man atomic bomb, which was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. In 1943, during World War II, the Soviet Red Army recaptured Kiev. However, before their withdrawal, the Germans destroyed most of the city's ancient buildings. In 1935, Edwin Armstrong presented his paper, A Method of Reducing Disturbances in Radio Signaling by a System of Frequency Modulation, to the New York section of the Institute of Radio Engineers. In 1918, the Second Polish Republic was proclaimed. In 1917, during World War I, the Battle of Passchendaele ended after three months of fierce fighting, resulted with the Canadians taking the city in Belgium. In 1913, Mohandas Gandhi was arrested while leading a march of Indian miners in South Africa. In 1865, during the American Civil War, CSS Shenandoah became the last Confederate combat unit to surrender due to its circumnavigation killing spree crews of the globe in which it sank or captured 37 unarmed merchant vessels. In 1861, also during the American Civil War, Jefferson Davis was elected President of the Confederate States of America. In 1844, the first Constitution of the Dominican Republic was adopted. In 1789, Pope Pius VI appointed Father John Carroll as the first Catholic bishop in the United States. And in 1528, shipwrecked Spanish conquistador Alvar Nunez Cabeza de Vaca became the first known European to set foot in the area that would become Texas. First, Stonewall Jackson, 1932, Zig Ziglar, 1926. And that concludes the show. Once again, you can check the underbar for any links you may be interested in. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. You can also write five thumbs and subscribe if you do so wish. For your dose of passive daily, I am Xander, and you are you. Toodles!